Hello everybody, my name's David Ellis and I write articles and blog posts and product reviews and do plenty of content writing. So this video is all about Jarvis. Who is Jarvis you might ask? Jarvis is an artificial intelligent content writer. Pretty cool, eh? Um, Jarvis basically works off what you tell it. You can put uh, a topic in and he will write the content for you, pretty much. Uh, it's an amazing tool and uh, I'm quite excited by it because it's uh, enabled me over the last few days since I uh, purchased the product to write some really long articles very quickly, which is fantastic for productivity and uh, it really speeds the process up. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to uh, show you how Jarvis works and um, I'm going to show you, well, just how brilliant he is. <laughs> so let's go over to the computer screen and let's take a look. Okay, so I'm in the uh, main dashboard area. So let's take a look at what's in the dashboard area. So if we're on dashboard at the moment. So we've got long form assistance. We've got lots and lots of templates to create different topics and different uh, things like video titles, email subject lines, SEO. There is just loads of stuff in here, but the one I want to show you in this video is the long form assistance, which basically helps you to uh, create long form articles. So let's click on that and we'll go into long form assistance. Now the first part of this is basically you need to describe the content that you want to create. So all we do in here is we'll type in a subject line and basically what the article is going to be about. So I'll just completely make something up. Um, uh, I'll put article about pet cats um, what cats get up to in the home and some products that cats might like. Uh, correct that spelling. Okay, so I don't know how this is going to turn out because I've just completely done that randomly. But basically, I've just told Jarvis that the article is about cats uh, in the home and see if Jarvis can come up with some ideas for products that cats might like. So here we go. We'll click continue. Now it's going to try and create us a title for our article. So we'll generate some ideas and see what Jarvis comes up with, or you can write your own title in there if you already have one. Okay, so it's come up with these. Let's have a look. What cats get up to in the home? What do cats think about? And something else. Uh, your cat is displaying the five unmistakable signs that they're bored. <laughs> uh, five fun activities for your bored cat. Hmm. Might be interesting. Um, cat news. What cats get up to in the home and tips to make them happy. Let's use that one. That sounds like a bit of fun. So now it's asking for an intro paragraph, which will be the top of your article. So let's generate some ideas for that. Okay. So he's thrown out a few different uh, choices here. Cats are wonderful pets. They're independent, curious, and love to explore their surroundings. But they also need some affection from time to time. In this article, we'll discuss what cats get up to in the home and then offer a few products that might make your cat happy at home or on the go. That sounds pretty good, so we'll use that one, I think. And now what we do is... It says setup is complete, so Jarvis basically now knows what the article is about, what your intentions are. So now we can open up the editor. 
OK, so it's given us our first intro paragraph which we created and now we can choose the output length of the text that we want. So I'm going to go for long because obviously the more text the better and then we're going to click at the bottom it says compose. So let this is where Jarvis does his work. So here we go. Let's see what it comes up with. How cool is that? Lots of text going in. OK, so he's wrote his first piece of content. So let's have a look what that reads like. In the home, cats are natural hunters and will find little creatures like mice, bugs or birds to stalk. To give your cat an outlet for this behaviour, you may want a scratching post that they can sharpen their claws on. Not just around furniture, but anywhere in order to keep them from damaging carpets. So, okay, it's missed a word out there. In order to keep them from damaging carpets. A nice window perch where she'll feel safe also is important if there's no other comfortable place because cats love looking out of windows at all hours. It gives her space away, that should be from, humans who have feelings unpending throughout house plants near open doors might get knocked over as well. So make sure those plants aren't poisonous too. Okay, uh, might want a little bit of rephrasing there but what we can do with that because that didn't really sound like it read right, so uh, where did it say? Place. Because cats love looking out of windows at all hours. Okay, that's fine. It gives a space away from humans who have feelings of upending throughout house plants near open. I don't really, don't really like that bit. So we can actually take that out, or what you can do is you can highlight that, and then it brings up this little box here where you can rephrase that or fix the grammar or make it more creative so we'll try rephrasing it and see what it comes up with the article includes a list of tips on the best plants to keep around your cat well I suppose but warns that some plants might be toxic and be knocked over by cats who walk through them Okay, that's not really where I wanted the article to go, um, but it does give you inspiration on where the article could go. Um, yeah, I'm going to run with it. I'm going to run with it. So it's now give us a list of tips on the best plants to keep around your cat. Okay, hopefully Jarvis will know because I've got no idea. Okay, right around your cat but warns that some plants might be toxic and be knocked over by cats who walk through them. You should be careful with any loose electrical cords since some household appliances could electrocute him. Okay. Right. Now what we do here is correct the spelling a bit. Okay. So we've got the spelling correct. Oh, right. Now what Jarvis is good, because as you can see at the bottom now, the, I can't carry, carry on composing. Because what Jarvis wants me to do now is to write at least 10 words to sort of trigger the AI into which direction it want, you, you want it to go with your article. Okay, so I'm going to start a new, new paragraph. Um, Let's see how, uh, how good Jarvis is. Some plants that are poisonous. I spelled that right. Spell check will tell me in a minute, I'm sure. Some plants that are... There we go, I didn't think that was right. Some plants that are poisonous to household cats include uh, plants such as right now we've got the compose back up again now so what Jarvis will do now is read back on what you've typed in and hopefully he will know what plants are poisonous to cats so let's have a look what it comes up with 
Okay. Ooh, still going. Okay. Right, so he's come up with now some plants that are poisonous to household cats include plants such as lilies, holly berries, and azaleas. The article also warns that cats should not be allowed to drink from the toilet <laughs> since they could get waterborne illnesses like salmonella or E. coli, which can cause diarrhea in humans as well. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> Definitely going to be a unique article, this one. Okay, the best plants for a household cat are ones with no toxic leaves, such as their native grasses. But if your house is covered, you might want some ivy. Just make sure it's non toxic because otherwise, he will eat all of them. <laughs> okay. Cats love green vines, so one option would actually would actually just grow up his scratching post. Don't like that. So okay, uh, non-tox leaves such as native grass. But if your house is covered, such as native grasses, I think we'll just leave that at that. Okay, so we, let's get rid of the plant side of things. But it's probably give me couple of hundred words in text, fine, Google could pick up on that, and um, you could rank for things that you never thought you were going to rank for, so, okay, let's try and put Jarvis on a different path now. Some great products that cats like to entertain them cells with okay let's see what Jarvis comes up with okay <laughs> let's see what he's come up with some great products that cats like to entertain themselves with are scratching posts cat tree cat trees and toys you should consult your veterinarian about any new products that they offer to help make them safe for cats in order not to cause an allergic reaction or other health problem with animal sensitive digestive system. Mm, don't like that. We'll forget the veterinary bit. Uh, which means we can probably Forget most of that. That's not really where we're going with the uh, with the article. Right. Let's go to a. Let's try something else. Okay. In the top right hand corner here, uh, I've cut it off a little bit, but you've got some little buttons here. That's the focus mode, which we're in now. Next to it is something called power mode. So if we click on power mode and we go to blog post outline, let me just clear what uh, I was doing before. Blog post outline. Okay, so let's see if we can get some headings so that we can sort of get Jarvis to go in the right direction. Um, so we shall put cat products that entertain. Um, cats in the home. Okay, uh, we'll put professional as the tone of voice, and I've got it set as British because uh, obviously I'm in Britain. Okay, now we can select, select how many outputs we want. I probably don't need eight, so I'll go for five and see what it comes up with. Okay, so we've got cat trees, scratching posts, interactive toys, and window perches. Or we 
we've got cat trees, litter boxes, food bowls. Right, so we're looking more down that line. So if I copy that to the clipboard, go back into the focus mode and paste that in there. Oh, here we go. We've got quite a got that twice was I really never mind there we go okay so that's give us some headings now um, now what we do with this if you put hashtags two hashtags before each of those Jarvis sees those as titles. So I'll drop them down a bit because we're going to work on one at a time. Okay, so we've got cat trees. Now he's already saying I can compose, so let's see if he'll give me something on cat trees. There's not a lot of text to go on, but we'll see what it comes up with. There we go. A cat tree is a good option for an indoor kitty because these structures can provide him with many different levels of space to explore. They also offer new places and objects that he might want or need, like perches, where his owner could place some treats so they don't get too high up off the ground, which may be dangerous. If there are any small kids in the home, why not? who cannot yet climb onto higher surfaces themselves, these posts should always have plenty of room at all ends on them since cats often love having multiple entrances into their territory from above as well as below. Let's see, there's a few spelling errors, but if you go through it and sort of proof edit it, as you're going and it's not too bad. These posts should always have plenty of room at all ends. Take that away. Since cats often love having multiple entrances in their territory from above as well as below. That will do for that. This way you will never find yourself wondering why Muffin <laughs> <laughs> Jarvis is even called the Cat Muffin, has found such joy climbing inside boxes again, even though it's not what we wanted. It's not really what I wanted either, but never mind. Um, right, we'll take that back to there, because even though I quite like the name Muffin, <laughs> I don't think we want to get on the subject of boxes. We're trying to look at cat trees. Uh, so let's put another little bit in there. Um, a cat tree would make an excellent toy for your pet cat. See some great examples here and then we could put some cat trees in there and uh, hopefully sell a cat tree okay so we're on scratching posts now let's see what Jarvis comes up with those Right, so let's see what he's written about. Scratching posts. Some cats prefer to scratch at things that are firmly anchored on in the ground. While others enjoy a piece of furniture better, that's why it is important for you as, a, as an owner or household member who has chosen one scratching post over another, not to be too discouraged when your cat picks something else instead and continu 
continues using old items rather than new ones provided by his family. You can see here some great examples from Amazon ooh, on how owners have tried out different options with their own animals so yours might like them if he resists these posts also. Not quite sure about that. Um, you can see there's a great examples from Amazon I'm going to try different options, blah, 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 yeah, probably edit that a little bit, but, um, but it's leading us towards scratching posts. Uh, to help encourage more clawing activities onto those designated services, which ideally should already exist somewhere around him, either outside if allowed, inside perch, near windowsills, where they offer nice views. Mm, no, don't like that. So we'll get rid of that. Uh, I'm not quite sure about this topic either. It's gone on the wrong tangent somehow. You can see here some great examples from Amazon. Get rid of that. Don't really know that. Um, that's why it's important for you as an owner or household member who has chosen one scratching post over another not to be too discouraged when your cat picks something else instead and continues using old items rather than new ones. Well yeah that makes sense because uh, cats get used to scratching your sofa I suppose and why should they all of a sudden want a scratching post? Uh, you can see here some great examples from Amazon uh, that your cat would really like and with a few treats nearby it would encourage him to use the scratching post instead Ooh. instead right so as you can see sometimes you've got to put a little bit of input in yourself but Jarvis is brilliant especially if you've got writer's block to give you ideas some you might not like some you might really like and then follow a different path to what you were even considering going down with the article um, and it does really save quite a lot of time. Okay, so let's go on interactive toys. Um, I'll put it at the end of the, apparently, if you put it the, the cursor at the end of the last piece of text, it sort of tr triggers him to do a little bit more. Um, whether that's right or wrong, I don't know, but we'll do that anyway. Okay, so let's see what he comes up with with interactive toys. I should actually put in a cat interactive toys because I've got them to um, hashtags there he's seeing that as a title so he's not really reading the text before so if I put interactive toys he might sort of go down to general interactive toys and not necessarily for cats so if I put cat interactive toys there then that hopefully will trigger him to write the correct text so let's have a look Okay. Some people do not like the idea of their cat being on top or inside high places, such as a countertop. Seems to be a bit of a re re repetition there. I think we had countertop at the top there, but never mind, we'll carry on. Um, that is why it's important to make sure they have plenty of other things that will keep them entertained and allow you some peace. Some interactive, <laughs> I don't know about that, it depends if the interactive toy is noisy really, doesn't it? But anyway, uh, some interactive toys for cats are items with string attached in various ways so your cat can play without hurting itself while jumping around, hopefully playing safely too. You may want to get more 
than one item because this way if something happens where there might be an accident then at least another toy would still work instead until he forgets about what happened before. <laughs> That's quite humorous, I quite like that. Uh, right, uh, you might get more than one. Uh, I, don't think, I don't think we'll have accident in there. I think we'll put um, this way, if something happens where there might where the toy gets lost then at least another toy would still work instead until he forgets about what happened before. That'll do. Uh, you could see here great examples from Amazon seems to like Amazon uh, which should leave any owner happy knowing his or her pet's needs were taken care of. And it's saying where you can put a link um, or product boxes or whatever you want. Okay, that's that's not bad. Quite like that. Uh, right. So let's put cat in there again. Cat window perches. Uh, we've got to write a little bit of text here because um, we haven't got the compose feature there, so it just needs a few words to guide it. Um, cats. Ooh. Cats love to perch high up. Okay, that's got us the compose back, so let's see what it comes up with for that. Okay. Cats love to perch high up in the windows of your home. This can be problematic if you have a lot. I'm not sure why that's dropped a line there, but there you go. Of cats, because they'll fight over who gets to go there. But luckily for us, humans, we are smarter and get window perches. These items will allow more than one cat at once from going up high on that specific spot in order to... Uh, don't need that in there. So everyone is happy. They come with different features like carpeting, which makes it easier when cleaning or just having an area where he or she could lounge around during some relaxation time too. Now even Mama's little helper feels good about climbing onto such objects again, since she won't slip off easily anymore. due to what was added before her paws touched this newest toy instead that doesn't make any sense so we'll cut that little bit off there and see if we can start something else um, during some relaxation time two cats Really love to um, chill out that's um, really love to chill out and window. Perches, correct, really love to chill out, and window perches would make a great place for your cat to do this. Let's see what. Jarvis comes up with, see if it'll end that off. Oh, that's quite cool, that sort of. Um, okay, if you don't have one already, then just head 
on over to the pet store and pick up a window purge today. No thank you Jarvis. If you don't have one already then we have some great selections for you. And it's repeated a little bit there of what it put before. So that's okay. Okay, so I'm not sure how long that's taken, but we've got how many words? We've got 750 words there in very little time at all. Um, and we could put some more headings in there. For example, I could put in um, clockwork mice for cats. Work mouse and get Jarvis to compose. The clockwork mouse is a toy that moves around like uh, it was correct before, I don't know why I spell check that. The real thing and craves to be chased after. This is just one of many great items. Oh, lost my connection on my mouse. <laughs> it's talking about mice, that is, isn't it? Now my mouse is backed up. This is just one of many great items you can get for your cat. Giving them fun, interactive toys will keep their mind off boredom. This would work with any type of or breed, as they are not, as they are sure not let down by this cheap. But fabulous gift. I don't like that. Um, this would work with any type of, any type or breed. Get rid of that bit. And enabling you to Give some love back into his or her life today. We have some great selections here to show you. That. Okay, um, so we've now got 824 words in very little time, really, and I also think that um, by the time you put that into your article, you, you might sort of put a conclusion in there and things, in fact, we can put a conclusion in there now. Let's, let's, let's see what conclusion Jarvis comes up with. Uh, hashtag. Conclusion. Right. Cats are amazing creatures and they really do love to have a little playtime in the home. They also need some attention from their owners every so often, but with just one or two of these products you should be able to get to get them all set up for hours worth, hours of fun. Remember that cats can use regular human furniture like we would because it's not built strong enough structurally, which is why our company has developed this beautiful range. <laughs> I don't know where he's going with that. Um, right, so I'll get rid of that bit. Uh, you might want more than three short paragraphs if you're... <laughs> Thank you, Jarvis. Tell me off, why don't you? Okay, so we've got a small conclusion there anyway. Uh, and that's given us 875 words, as I say, in very little time. Um, by the time we've got some images in there and some products in there, that will become quite a, quite a long post. 
Okay, so that was Jarvis doing um, his long form content. I hope you enjoyed that uh, little exercise. As you can see, that it was a random topic, and um, yeah, there was a few few things to clean up in there, but uh, to get that amount of content in such a short space of time, I think was was really good. Um, I hope you liked this video and I hope it helped you out a little bit with um, how to use the long form content if, if you haven't got Jarvis and um, Conversion AI. I'll leave a link in the description below for you. Uh, you can go and check it out. It is an affiliate link so if you uh, do go through my link I would really appreciate it. Thank you very much. And uh, that's it for this video. So if you enjoyed the video Please subscribe to the channel and if you want to see future videos hit the bell icon and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.